When making major adjustments or changing the bit, you should always shut off and then unplug the router. Always be sure the bit is mounted in the collet to a depth of at least one half of an inch. Ideally, it should be inserted the full depth and then pulled out one sixteenth of an inch to avoid clamping on the tapered part of the bit. Always be sure the bit is tightly locked into the collet by turning the nut in a clockwise or right direction when viewing the router from the bottom. The proper way to adjust the depth of cut is not to change how far you mount the bit into the chuck, but to adjust the base using the depth of cut adjustment. It is necessary to clamp your work so it doesn't move during the operation. It is necessary to be sure the router is turned off before plugging it in. Before turning on the router, you should make sure the base is resting on the work, but the bit is clear of the work. Depending on the profile of the bit, or the amount of wood it will remove, you may need to make several passes to complete the cut. This is to avoid burning, chipping, and a loud noise. You should move the router counterclockwise around the edge of your work to avoid kickback and injury. You should route end grain first to avoid chips from remaining in your work once routing is complete. When cutting end grain, the last half inch of an edge should be cut in a clockwise direction. The following is the required way to finish the routing operation. With the base still resting on the work, move the bit away from the edge, turn off the router, and then wait for the bit to stop spinning before removing the base from your work. Power switch. Depth of cut clamp. Base. Depth of cut adjustment. Collet nut.